Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today, the Dark Eldar, Coven, and Eldar allies take on a Centurion Star. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today, we're playing. Defranza's Destiny, which is mission four of like a Nova for Nova style mission pack, and its table quarters, which you can either accumulate over the course of the game or at the end of the game, and you get to pick three of your secondary points. I'm playing Matt. You've met Matt before. This time he decided to not go easy on me at all. Bring a Centurion Star and fifty more Marines, two Devastator squads, last cannons, and three tactical squads with Melter, 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 with Tiggy, Kotiaz, and a Storm Shield Terminator Librarian that did get Gate, they got Invisibility, they got uh, Perfect Timing, so they are decked out. My army, 1850 points, I have a Grotisserie from the Coven Book, two units of Grotesques with an Archon and a Homunculus, they got Rage in Raiders with Enhanced Sails and Night Shields, two Venoms with Five Man Blaster Warrior units, two Talos, Five Scourge with four Haywire Blasters. Two units of the Five Warriors for the Venoms. And then in reserve, I have a Wave Serpent with Dire Avengers, a Far Seer uh, with three Eldar Jet Bikes, a Razor Wing, and a Ravager with Lances. And Matt has decided to go first. Yes. Awesome. So <laughs> I will attempt to seize said initiative. Uh, Matt has decided to take objectives at the end of the game. I have decided to take objectives as a cumulative, and because of Kotiaz, he negates my re-roll re -roll for the uh, Labyrinthine Cunning. So, on a six, I go first. I do. The stolen initiative allowed the Dark Kin to take the initiative. So, the Mandrakes move forward, blasted one of the Marines. Thank <laughs> you, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> Allow myself to introduce myself. <laughs> They are so blazed. They are fiery. Um, I was able to actually kill two centurions because my venoms were on fire and they murdered two centurions, which have grav amps and missile launchers, by the way. So they're super expensive. I boosted up my grotisserie up this flank. That's the homunculus. That's the archon. And the haywire blaster scourge, which are relatively useless, just ran into that building while this moved up. And... These guys just sat there and did nothing. Moving on to Space Marine. Turn one. Invisibility goes off. Perfect timing goes off. Also, shrouding goes off, which means they are shrouded, invisible, uh, they ignored cover, and then that unit is shrouded too, killing both raiders and killing one grotesque and putting one wound on another with the rest of the shooting. The last cannon devastators forced one venom into jinking and destroyed one other venom as well. Meanwhile, on the far flank, a full tactical unit that was under orders to tactical doctrine blasted into the mandrakes and did not kill any of them. While at the start of Dark Eldar Turn 2, all the reserves arrived thanks to the labyrinthine cunning of the Archon in the back. The Grotisserie is now going to be getting into combat. We'll be back after this. Dark Eldar, advance. We have the Grotesques and the Grotesques with the Archon move up, shoot into that unit. For They fell back, then they got charged by the Archon, and they killed everybody but one. The Archon now up to six strength with his Soul Trap Agonizer. In shooting, the Raised Wing came in and blasted all its missiles at the doomed unit of Space Marines here, together with other fire from this corner where the reserves arrived, bringing this model unit down to two. And in movement, we had the, Ra the Ravager and Venom move up and the Talos move up, while the two Cabalite Warriors here moving into position for later in the game. So now we're moving on to Space Brain Turn 2. And what a bloody game it's been. The two rem remaining survivors moved in, shot to do nothing, tried to charge the jet bikes, and the jet bikes killed them 
in Overwatch, because they were doomed after all. The unit in the middle moved and ran to get away from the Archon and his grotesque that murdered that last Marine, while the invisible, prescient Centurion Star of Doom gated to this position, blasted the Talos into oblivion, and Psychic shrieked five Cabalite warriors to death. So we're moving on to Dark Eldar, Eldar and Coven, turn three. So the battle is joined. We had some shuffling back here in this quarter, killed a couple of these marines with a venom and with the mandrakes. And that venom there. I didn't do anything to the centurions. That little cab light unit shot at it because it's the only thing they could do. They hid back here, which is a homunculus and some scourge. That guy shuffled to try and survive, even though centurions are pretty nasty. And then these guys, they get a medal. They made an, an 11 inch charge, sorry, a nine inch charge through terrain. So they had to roll an 11 to get into combat and they did. So now they're stuck in combat with devastators and they're in the backfield. That Archon is rocking out. And then the raised wing just killed one model from said unit over here. Okay, we're moving on to Space Marine, turn three. The invisible Centurion Star gated up, put one hull point on this uh, Ravager, which was surprising, and then killed the Venom, which was not surprising. Uh, Psychic Shriek killed three of the Cabalite Warriors, but they are holding, still holding that table quarter. And in combat, we have the Archon kill another couple of Marines, because he's strength six, thanks to his Soul Trap after the first challenge, while the marines moved up and shot into the mandrakes and did nothing, thanks to feel no pain. We're moving on to Eldar, Dark Eldar, turn four. The Ravager moved into the back corner. The Cabalite Warriors moved behind this wall while the Razorwing Jet Fighter flew away. In combat, we killed everyone but one marine left, keeping us tied up in combat while the Eldar allies have advanced and maneuvered. We have the Farseer who guided the Dire Avengers and killed, they killed one of the Devastators, while everything else shot into this unit that was doomed, killing a few more. And the Mandrakes, of course, have been doing wounds, so they get Soul Blaze. And it does continue to burn, and it does two that are Strength 4, so two more wounds, killing another Space Marine. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will, of course, force a morale test at the end of the game. The Centurion Star gated all the way to the backfield, killing the Farseer and the jet bikes, killing the Wave Serpent, and killing three out of the f uh, four out of the five Dire Avengers. The Archon finally killed the last Devastator and bravely consolidated towards because they're now fearless, so they might as well towards the last Devastator unit. Uh, other than that, these guys fell back from the Mandrake Soul Fire, Soul Blaze, rallied, moved up, and shot into the Mandrakes. No, shot into the Dire Avenger doing nothing. The Mandrakes lost one of their number to a stray last cannon shot from the backfield. Now we're moving on to Dark Eldar, turn five, could be the end of the game. So, um, moved up, moved up, moved up with all this stuff. Wasn't able to do anything with their, uh, against them. They passed their saves. Archon and Grotesque charged in, killed everybody except one more guy. In the meantime, the Grotesque now have It Will Not Die, so one of them regained a wound. Other than that, it is now Space Marine turn five. Could be the end of the game. So far, I have maxed out on possible points in terms of table quarters, so now I just need to try and get points for Line Breaker and Last Laugh. So we shall see if that's a possibility. Kotiaz failed to cast Gate on himself to get him into another table quarter. The Grav Amps realized that they couldn't hurt the Mandrakes, so they shot missiles at them and did nothing. The Archon killed the last Devastator that he was in combat with, while these Marines failed to get into combat with the Mandrakes. And now we're going to roll to see if the game continues on to turn six. It does not. That is game. We'll be back with the points. 
and the game has ended with a dark Eldar coven and Eldar victory over the forces of the Space Marines and Inquisitor Cortez. Uh, it's 13 points to the Dark Eldar for getting max points for capturing table quarters as the game went on. The way you did that was having more enemy unit count, like more models, like more units in table quarters than your opponent. So because I had lots of little units, that helped. And then I had Linebreaker, which my Archon, that was a beat stick this game got. And Last Laugh, which is kill the last enemy unit instead of First Blood. So he killed the Devastator right at the end of the game. So that's 13 points. Two mats, six points, which were... Oh, no. Eight points. Seven. Oh, eight eight yeah, points. Eight. Uh, for taking this table quarter, because he controls it at the end of the game. He has more points in the table quarter than me. These guys are objective secured, so they count to four points. So my Mandrakes do not deny them. And they have this table quarter here as well. And he did get first blood when he murdered both the raiders on the side of the table. So, Matt... Game thoughts. I think I had a, a plan to come in and wait and wait and wait and wait and then get Coach. He has to gate into a different thing, different quarter at the end, and the dice really didn't go my way. Um, you made some amazing <laughs> dice rolls, which is really good to see because you made some pretty crappy ones too. Um, I think tactically, I made a couple of errors, especially at the end. I should have charged instead of shooting. I realized as I shot that I shouldn't have done it. Um, I think I focused on what I needed to focus on, but I'm um, still trying to learn this, and I know this isn't an optimized list as well. That'll change. Awesome. Uh, the Dark Eldar was awesome. For the first time, trying a grotisserie formation with the two units of three grotesques. They rolled Rage this game, so they were Rage and Rampage. So when they charged in, they had a lot of attacks. And the Archon was the man of the match. Um, started on this side and just just walked through everything and made crazy long charges through terrain and uh, I'll talk about that more in the tactical corner but overall fun game fun tough game I'll talk about dealing with the Death Star in the tactical corner as well like the Centurion Star and uh, other than that thanks a lot for watching liking and subscribing to the channel let's get on with it shall we thanks a lot bye Hello and welcome to another Tactical Corner. So we're going to talk about dealing with Death Stars. Death Stars can be quite intimidating. In this case, it was a Centurion Star with a li Chief Librarian, uh, Cotiaz, and another Librarian for an invisible, uh, ignoring cover army of doom. About eight to 900 points in one unit. Um, the key to this was my Archon and his gr grotesques going into the backfield and just killing everything in their path. They physically eliminated 30 Marines on their own. But also spreading out across the table with all my multiple smaller units, which forced Matt to commit to my table quarter to annihilate the Talos's and then, you know, the Venom and to put damage on the Ravager. But by doing that, it forced him out of position. And even with Gate, he wasn't able to get back into the game until quite late in the, in the game. Now, I was trying my best to deny Gate with my Psychic Dice, and that didn't help all game. So all I was able to do was just basically ignore it, and know that they were going to kill two things, maybe three things per turn, and just maneuver in a position that it didn't matter. At the end of the game, I played to the objectives, and that was a victory.